another cloudy day. I was really uh, enjoying yesterday's sunshine. Maybe it'll come back. I really like it when it's cloudy like this all the time. It's just too gloomy. I don't want to get out of bed when it's like this. So gloomy. I love that old building over there. I know they need to like fix things up sometimes, but I just love the way things look like that. It's like time just forgot them. Alright. Check the mail today. Let's see what we got. Love our old mailboxes. I thought it would look cool. Roll over? Are you gonna roll over? Oh, he fell over! Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. So, wedding rehearsal today at the Crazy K Ranch, and uh, get ready for tomorrow's wedding day, and uh, I'm supposed to have a photo shoot this Sunday, the last three days they've had a 100% chance of thunderstorms on that day, I think this, this shoot's been rained out once before, so. Uh, looks like they have a bit of the rain curse. <laughs> that happens sometimes. Alright, just uh, had the wedding rehearsal and now we are headed back to Selmer. It's dinner time. Uh, videoing this on my phone actually to see what it looks like. Uh, this is my new S7 Edge phone. Oh, shaky. Hang on just a minute. I want to I wanna try something else. Okay, that's better. Oh, it's much better, actually. Uh, this is still my cell phone, but it's on a stabilizer. And the stabilizer uh, is the one I picked up on uh, an Indiegogo project that was being funded online. Let's see, I can pan the camera around a little bit. Here we go. And uh, it's a gimbal stabilizer for your cell phone, but it also has a battery pack in it. I tried this out with the iPhone, and it was just did not work well with the iPhone at all. Um, it works a lot better with the uh, with the Samsung actually. It's much more stabilized. Uh, I don't know if that has to do with the the weight or size of the phone, but it, it seems to it seems to work a lot better with the uh, with the Android phone. Um, but it's called the Smooth S M O V E. It's a strange, strange name. And notice if you hear the noise um, of my car, I'm actually on a gravel road right now, and it's shaking me around pretty good. So uh, it'll be interesting to see just how stabilized this video is because uh, I'm, I'm really getting shook around quite a bit. Uh, I wonder if the uh, S7 has any internal stabilization or not. Uh, I'll also be interested on how this microphone is picking up sound because uh, the rocky road that I'm on right now is really loud uh, even with the windows up. So yeah, not a lot going on today as you can tell is just uh, wedding rehearsal and it's been a whole lot of editing today um, tomorrow will be a lot of fun uh, at the wedding but yeah today's just pretty uh, pretty normal day just let me see if I can switch the camera around while I'm videoing oh it won't let me switch the camera hmm. how about that I guess I have to stop
think I'd want this to replace my vlogging camera by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but in a pinch like I am today, where uh, I killed the battery in the camera and put it on the charger and then left the charger and the camera at work, go me, yeah, it, it works in a pinch, I'll put it that way. Um, I don't want to be in this pinch again. I'm missing, missing having a little uh, Sony camera with me. This is not any kind of endorsement of the Smooth or the Sony DSC-80. These are items that I buy and I use and, um, you know, I have them just, you know, personally. And uh, the Smooth is actually not a great stabilizer. I've used a couple of other stabilizers uh, from China that I've gotten on Amazon that actually work a lot better. Um, they're a little bit more ergonomic. Uh, the Smooth is very wide and hard to grip, uh, and it's a little heavy since it does have that internal battery pack. Um, so yeah, it's not very ergonomic. Uh, I couldn't imagine holding it like this for a very long time uh, and using it. And the finish on it is actually very slippery, so it's, it's kind of difficult to grip. Uh, I would have to take something and rough it up a little bit to give me uh, a little bit better grip on the on the handle but uh you know it is what it is it was 129 dollars it's not that bad some stabilizers you know are extremely expensive so you know for a 129 dollar stabilizer slash battery pack not bad but um would i want to use it every day no all right just got in from getting something to eat with everybody. Um, we had a wedding rehearsal. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a lot of fun. The wedding. They've actually asked us to video the wedding uh, as well. So we're actually going to be doing photos and video at the same time. Uh, not something we uh, have done a lot of. So uh, we had a little bit of a challenge there. Uh, forecasting a lot of wind, so I'm going to set up uh, some audio, make sure we got a clean audio track, put my dead cat on there to filter the wind out, and uh, yeah, everything should be really good. Um, looking forward to the challenge, it should be uh, a lot of fun, and make sure I've got a Good memory card in this. Yeah. Two gigabytes. I don't know how much audio, two gigabytes. Probably a lot. Let's see. We'll go with 16. How about that? I'm going to make sure that we've got plenty of memory. Because memory these days, there's no reason not to have a, a big memory card in everything. You know... That would be probably just like the easiest thing to avoid is, is just running out of memory. So there we go. I'm going to zoom 100 here. We've got full battery and um, plenty of space for audio. Um, so that will be great. This came in really handy at a wedding that we actually videoed once last year. Uh, Drew and Mallory Wheeler up in uh, the mountains. Gorgeous, gorgeous wedding right in the top of the mountains. Uh, we had just the most incredible wind that day. Um, as I guess is probably pretty common in, uh, in the mountains. And uh, so this came in really handy to give us a really clean audio track. Uh, to, to dub in with the video and hear the horn honking. That's everybody waiting on me in the car. They don't realize that I'm trying to find my GoPro battery charger. So, you know what? I will just get up in the morning and find it. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to get up and find it. Tomorrow's going to be insane.